What's going on guys? Merry Christmas and it's Raido here for another episode of Osu Alert. Kicking off this week's news, Poland has been crowned OSU World Champions. After USA's 7-4 match against the UK, the US went on to face Poland in the Grand Final. The US won the first match against Poland 7-5 to reset the bracket. And for those who are unfamiliar, when you come from the loser's bracket, you have to win two matches. Whereas if you're from the winner's bracket, you only have to win one. So now it was down to the last match, and this time it was different though. Made of Fire wasn't banned by either team, and was later picked by the US and FC'd by Toy R Boy. But all that was in vain as Poland took the last map with an impressive FC by none other than Wub Wolf Wolf. A well deserved win for Poland for sure, as this is their first OWC win. <laughs> I played this game 8 years, Alice. And I finally got something. <laughs> As the World Cup comes to an end, a sad announcement was actually made by Loctiv. At the end of the year, he will be stepping away from the OSU team. Tournament concluding, so does my membership in the OSU team. And at the end of the year, I will be taking my leave and therefore will not manage any World Cup by myself anymore whatsoever. So this was my last lap from all World Cups and it's time to pass on the torch to people that want to keep up this. While many people in the community might not have a positive view on him, he has done a lot for the game, such as organizing the past several OSU World Cups. The game truly won't be the same without him. But on a slightly happier note, with the USA coming in second for the OSU World Cup, Toy receives his 11th profile badge, so one can only wonder how many badges he can truly obtain. While keeping on the topic of player achievements, Dunois achieved the greatest achievement of them all, getting restricted. At the moment, it's unclear whether or not he wanted to delete his account, or if he gave his account to a hacker, or if he just got hacked. However, with Dunois being restricted, Azer then becomes number 2 Canada. Next up, Rurucci appears to be more active in playing, though for now it's hard to tell if he will actually carry on playing or not. After Nero's god mode last week on the airman, getting several FCs in a row as well as getting a few SS's, he has started trying for a flashlight FC on the map and he's been getting extremely close. On one try, he was even 48 combo away from an FC. So I'm wondering if after he gets that FC, he's gonna try for a hidden flashlight FC maybe? Let us know what you guys think down below. But next up, everyone's favorite mapper, Monstrata, is no longer a beatmap nominator. For those who don't know, beatmap nominators are the ones who bubble the maps in the forums. If two beatmap nominators bubble your map, then it gets qualified. What this means for Monstrata is that he won't be able to speed rank his maps like he's been doing for a while now. Though, I doubt this will affect his maps in terms of gameplay, but you'll just be seeing them a bit less often in the qualified state. Speaking of mapping, Sotarx answered your PP prayers and his Die Die map got ranked. The map is worth 425 PP for a hidden double time SS on the last difficulty, rightly named Tights. What PP farm map do you think should be remapped into more PP? Let us know down below. Sticking with Sotorx, or should we call him Santa Tarks, in the Festa spirit as his Santa San map got qualified. Unlike Monstrata's marathon map, Sotorx map set is just under 3 minutes with 11 difficulties from some well known mappers. Well, speaking about map, Ely's retriment map also got qualified. Though by the time this video is out, it might actually be ranked. The TV size map set has 12 difficulties, including one from Cook Easy. So I wonder if he maps as well as he plays. And lastly for this week, in the previous episode we mentioned about the want for tag 4 maps, and this week, GN made a very insightful video regarding the matter. So let's take a quick look. As always, all links to discussions and videos will be down in the description below. That's it for this week's news, so let's move on to the scores. Kicking off this week's scores, Cookiezy gets another unranked 800 PP play, SEFC's Undead Corporations Embraced by the Flame with Hidden, and a 99.3% accuracy. Had the map been ranked, this would have been worth 809 PP. The only thing I
keeping it with Cook Easy, he also S-ranked the newly ranked Feeling Sky 200 step remix map with Hidden and Hard Rock getting 4 slider breaks and a 99.01 accuracy. The play got him a 548 pp, however had it been a full combo it would have been well worth over 700 pp. And for Cook Easy's last score this week, he takes the number one on the love map True Survivor with hidden double time and 99.17% accuracy. Next up, Adam Qs takes number one on Deconstruction Star, unfortunately not the Hollow Wings one. But with Hidden and Hard Rock getting two misses in the last 70 combo, his 98.57% accuracy got him a 510 pp play, and had it been an FC it would have been worth 550 pp. Now it's time to ban anime as Karthi took number one on Yubi Boankyo with hidden double time and a 99.79% accuracy with only one 100. He got his first 700 pp play with a 715 pp play. Holy shit, let's go! This was quickly followed up by Ryuk taking the number one spot from Karthi with an SS on the same map and same mods. This SS was worth 727 pp, so memes never die. That ends it for this week's scores. Please stick around after the memes for our Christmas giveaway.
Now, before I actually talk about the giveaway, I want to thank every single person that subscribed to me because my channel has reached 10,000 subscribers. I know some of you guys wonder why my channel exists, and for those who are new from Circle People only, I was the original creator of this series, so my channel only serves as being an Ocelert content only. But anyways, it's great to see that the series has grown into something that I would never have thought to be even remotely big. So once again, big thank you from Rido. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed this week's Osu Alert. This week's giveaway will have 10 winners, and each winner will receive a prize of $20. When you win, you can choose from either $20 worth of Osu support, a tablet cover from Yangu, or really anything else online that is $20 or less with included shipping in your area. Oh, and that online item that you want also has to be legal. So lastly, big thank you to all our patrons and have a lovely holiday season. And from the entire Circle People staff, we wish everybody a Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.